How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and I've been getting a lot of comments to show you guys how I pop the bases off of mortar tubes. So I collect these things all the time because obviously the, the sheer amount of shell kits that we do on this channel, I would be stupid not to hold on to these tubes because you can totally make a milk crate rack. <clears throat> you can get these for free. You just got to go to a Walmart, Sam's Club, Menards, and they'll usually be just sitting out back. And nine times out of 10, you just go in, talk to the customer service lady, and she'll let you go back there and take them. So that's how we get the majority of ours. For our New Year's show, we had to buy some, but mainly these things are free. So this rack costs you literally nothing if you buy a bunch of shell kits. So what I do is I bag them up, because I usually do one shell kit at a time. Now, these Xcal tubes, the HDPE ones, you'd be better off cutting this thing out and putting it in a professional wooden rack. But these are the El Cheapo racks. So we like to take the fiberglass tubes like this, pop the bases off and then load. Usually you can get 27 of them in a milk crate. Let's uh, show you how we do that. So really all you have to do is grab the tube like this, okay, from the top and then you just hit that as hard as you can. It may take a couple tries, but we're gonna try to get it in one. So here we go, three, two, one. All right, we gotta hit it a little harder than that. Okay, it should come off this time. So just like that, um, when it gets all nasty like that there at the bottom, you can just take a belt sander or something, sand it down, but we really don't need to do that. And then from there, you just start loading these things into the milk crate. So let's show you one with the red apple tube. These are the geisha shells. Some of these are way easier to pop off than others. So let's see if we can get this one in one hit. Nope, we got half, let's get the other half. Just like that, nice clean base. You still have the concrete down there. 100% safe to be firing shells out of that. So we can just load them all up into the rack. Um, I, I do wanna get one of these in one hit before we start doing the time lapse. So let's try this again. Just go straight right there. Yeah, we're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it. Let's go right here. Yeah, so that's basically, you know, one hit. One hard hit with a hammer, you get something like that. And if you guys are worried about the whole cosmetic thing there at the bottom, just sand it down. Either way, we just like to shove them into milk crates. We should be able to get like 27 of them in here, so I'm gonna start the time lapse now. So I thought I had more fiberglass tubes than I actually did. Um, we're short about three or four, because we could put three more right here. And if there was still some wiggle room, I would end up shoving one more like right down here in the middle. And it works out pretty good. So you can see how this looks. Um, you could totally fire canister shells out of here. This is the exact same model that we used on New Year's with the 2000 canister shells, because we didn't have enough HDPE mortars. So we had to use these as kind of a last resort, but we always save these tubes whenever we buy these shell kits. Um, there's a lot of people that advise against using milk crate racks. However, they're free. They're basically free, cheap, and easy to use. The only thing is, you know, you do have a bit of a risk if something were to blow in the middle, it could split the rack and throw tubes everywhere. However, this has never happened to me, and I've been doing this for a decade. And I don't know anybody in the industry that that has happened to. So if any of you guys that complain about me using a milk crate rack can provide me with an example of this actually happening, I would love to see it. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, well, what do we do if we get a cardboard tube like this? Because I know a lot of shell kits, um, even some canister shell kits do come with a cardboard tube. So we're gonna attempt to pop the base off of here, but it's, as you can see, it's plastic. I don't know if uh, I would even do a rack like this, but let's just see if it works. We're having bad luck with the hammer, but I wonder if I can just pull that off there. Yeah, it's pretty tough. So this is one of those scenarios where you might want to um, use a saw or something. There we go. You can just pull it off like that. Um, the base though, I don't know. What do we have down here? Clay? 
So clay and plastic, and if you're comfortable loading these cardboard ones into a rack, then by all means do it. But these are sized for DR9, which means festival balls and circular artillery shells. So I probably wouldn't make a rack out of these. But anyway, that is how you pop the base off your fiberglass tubes and then repurpose them in a milk crate rack. You could totally do a wood rack. It's up to you guys. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.